10th pick, I went with The engine is still so not. <laughs> Everybody, Jets Gary here doing a Jets mock draft right before uh, the draft tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're not new, subscribe, comment how you think I did on the video. Let's get to it. All right, so for the number 10th pick, I went with Brock Bowers out of Georgia. He's an explosive tight end. He's one of those unicorn tight ends that is a can't-miss prospect. I think this is an easy no-brainer pick for the Jets. I personally would prefer Roma Dunze if we could get to the eighth pick. But if we just stay put, I like Brock Bowers here over a tackle. You could put him in the slot. You could put him in tight end. For now, you could put him um, a little bit in the slot and run Tyler Conklin in there. So you could run two tight ends with Mike Williams and Garrett Wilson on the outside. I think this is a no-brainer pick for the Jets here at 10. Pick number 72, I have the New York Jets selecting Cole Bishop, safety out of Utah. Um, I didn't trade up for a receiver. I stayed put because I liked the receivers later on. So I took Cole Bishop here, no tackle yet either. Ashton Davis is on a one-year deal. Cole Bishop has a lot of speed. He needs to work better in coverage, but you know how the Jets like the speedy Safeties, I think this is a good spot for the Jets. As you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Chuck Clark coming off of an injury and Ashton Davis, like I said, on a one-year deal. Pick number 111, I have the New York Jets selecting Malik Washington out of Virginia. Malik Washington is a very small wide receiver, but he is very explosive. I think he would fit in the Jets perfectly with a little combo of us now having Brock Bowers and Malik Washington. I think that like settles out our wide receiver tight end issues we have a lot of playmakers now this is the perfect setup for us so with this pick i'm taking malik washington at pick number 134 i have the new york jets selecting Layden robinson at texas a&m he's going to be a backup guard for us he typically plays right guard so he's going to be the backup to elijah vera tucker i do have issues with avt staying healthy because every year he's played he's always been injured so I think this pick is a nice safety option just in case AVT gets hurt again, which I think is a priority. Pick number 185 before you guys come all at me. This is where I take the tackle. I think we take Caden Wallace out of Penn State. He's a kid from Jersey, so he's a home state kid. He only gave up one sack. He played 670 offensive snaps. He had a 68.8 PFF grade. He only had one sack. He only had one hit. I think this is a good backup option for Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. So with this pick, I would take Caden Wallace. Pick number 203, the trade that we made for Zach Wilson to move up. I have the New York Jets getting their QB of the future. See how he could be. The quarterback out of Tennessee, Joe Milton. He is one of the harder hitting throwing quarterbacks. He has explosive arm talent. He's just having issues maybe reading the field making the short passes, kind of similar to what Zach Wilson was. So I think this is, um, I would prefer, you know, more of a Jordan Travis earlier on, but I couldn't get him because he was already selected. So I have the New York Jets at 203, taking Joe Milton out of Tennessee. The final pick for us at 207, I have the New York Jets lastly taking Omar Spates from LSU. He's a good linebacker. We don't need a linebacker, but I think we could use a nice linebacker for the future just in case, you know, C.J. Moses is getting up there in age. I think this is a good guy to pair eventually in the future with Quincy Williams. He had 300 tackles. I think this was a steal at this pick. He should definitely go a lot higher. He had a 64 PFF grade. Um, he was pretty good against the run defense. He was pretty good against um, coverage. So I think this is a no-brainer pick. He missed, you know, had eight missed tackles. It's a little, you know, lower by the years. And, um, yeah, so I have Omar Spates going in this pick. You could move him around. He played in the slot. He played in the box. It's a good pick for me. That's the end of my New York Jets mock draft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried the best I can. So let me know what you thought about the draft in the comment section below. I'm Jets Gary, and I'm out. Peace out. Yeah, stop wasting my time. Get paid.